is ready to heat, flux, and weld on the other end. I scarfed the shaft. I scarfed in this is here. I'm gonna weld these together. The scarfs meet. On a, on a shaft, I usually upset the end of it so I can blend the weld in better. I won't have no wasp nest. The wasp nest is the undercut part. We'll see how this goes. for a second well
this is not the prettiest weld. The end here, I didn't quite get it blended in. Up here, you can see it, which don't make no difference. But down here, once you get down past the parent stock, you don't want to forge, forge it, keep on forging it to get rid of the end of the scarf because it'll cause an undercut and it looks uglier than heck. Uh, it's best to leave it just like that. It's, it's a good strong weld in there, hang. Uh, that's my, uh, normally on this part here, if I'm just going to make a hook out of it or, uh, for, or a thing, I'll just go ahead and twist it while these are square and then I forge these on out to whatever, you know, the hook or whatever. But when I, uh, do it like this here I go ahead and weld the, this part to this and then I untwist this part here uh, the other way if I'm just doing this part itself by itself I'll go ahead and untwist it reason, reason I don't untwist it now because this lays better here when you're forge welding this to the handle to this Good even heat. I went the wrong way at the beginning, but uh Untwist it the way you like it. You want you want to even heat it. You want to even twist. Uh, this is something you can play with, however you want. This in here I left square, so I can twist it, and then when I get done, I'll put a hook on the end for a fire tool or something. 